This is what the story is all about, the human embryo, and whether scientists can, indeed whether scientists should, genetically modify these. But it is an ethical minefield, and the argument about it all is about to get much louder here in the UK, because permission has now been granted. Now, here's why. This organisation, the Francis Crick Institute here in London, had asked the regulatory body for permission to do it. And the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority, or HFEA as it's also known, has now said yes. The scientists needed that licence to go ahead and perform what's called genome editing to help establish causes behind miscarriages and other issues to do with the development of fertilised eggs. It's very important to understand the causes of um Unfertility, for example, while the embryo does not implant into the uh, uterus, into the womb, it's very important that this research goes ahead. Now, what's going to happen here is that embryos will be donated by couples who have a surplus after IVF treatment, but there is a whole list of rules that go along with it. First of all, they'd only be used for limited basic research. On top of that, no implanting into women to bring about a pregnancy. And they would have a strict 14-day maximum life period. But despite all of that, there is still some concern among some people about what could potentially follow in the future. The editing of DNA in, an, in a human embryo is highly controversial. It's opposed by most research scientists around the world and banned in over 40 countries. And Britain is risking becoming a rogue state in this whole endeavour. People are opposed to it because it's dangerous, because of the unpredictable effects on the human genome that could be passed down through generations. And it's unnecessary. Now, all of this follows a similar procedure in China, which happened last year. There, a team of scientists became the first in the world to announce they had successfully altered DNA in human embryos. And now the procedure will begin in the UK, and soon. Once that licence is formally granted and full research ethics approval has also been given, the process can begin almost immediately.